On today's episode, I want to explain and show you why I think Topaz Sharpen AI is iPhone's new best friend. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you so much for joining me today. What got me interested in, in making this video was I read this blog by Tony Kuiper about iPhone photography, and it got me excited about working with my iPhone and thinking of it as a serious camera for a photographer, because it's a camera that we have with us all the time. And there's always photo opportunities out there. And let's face it, we don't always have our camera gear with us at all times, but we do have our iPhones or smartphones for that matter. And what I want to show you today does not only apply for iPhones, iPhones, but it also applies to like Android phones as well. Did you know that the camera sensor inside a smartphone is a lot smaller than a sensor inside, say, like a DSLR digital camera? And that means it needs a lot more light to capture the image that you're taking. And here's where the problem comes in. This image you see on my screen in Lightroom was shot on my iPhone 7, and the light was kind of low where I shot this. And it's a close-up, so I'm pretty close to it. And you'll notice I had this in full auto. I was using the Lightroom camera app, and it's at 1 30th of a second. So I'm hand-holding this, imagine. That is a hard shot to hand-hold, so there's some camera shaking here. But I can correct that. And that's what this video is about, really. The fact that smartphones have small image capturing sensors, and they require sometimes a slower shutter speed so that the sensor can capture more light. And that's where the problem comes in because you'll see when I zoom in here, this image is rather soft. But with the help of Topaz Sharpen AI, I can fix that problem. And I'm going to show you that here. I'll send this into Sharpen AI right from Lightroom. But first, I, would, I just want to show you, I just have some basic adjustments on this image. And as far as detail is concerned, I have no sharpening or noise reduction on it. This is a raw file. Now, I don't... Uh, run raw files right into Sharpen AI in the raw format. That's just not my workflow. Some folks like to do that and they have their reasons, but for me, it doesn't matter either way. And I've tried both ways and my results are pretty much the same. So I'm just going to send this right into Sharpen AI from Lightroom. And to do that, I'll simply right click on the image, go to edit in, find Topaz Sharpen AI, click on that, a dialog box comes up. Now this is a raw file, so I only have one option, edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Now, I have to choose a file format. Now I can choose a file format here, there's a drop down. I can send it in as a PSD or a JPEG. I use TIFF, that's just my workflow. I use the Profoto color space, you could use Adobe RGB, sRGB, whatever you want. In bit depth, I always use 16 bits. 8 bits is less information, so we want to keep all that information we can. And as far as the resolution is concerned, I generally use 360 because that's what my Epson printer likes. But you can use whatever you want. I don't use any compression. I click Edit, and that'll send us into Sharpen AI. Now, here we are inside of Sharpen AI. Now, under Sharpen Model, you'll notice I have this toggle checked on. When you have this checked on, it Sharpen AI will automatically use the recommended model that it thinks for this image. And I'll tell you what, it gets it right probably 80% of the time for me anyway. And then as far as model parameters are concerned, I have the auto on here because again, I find it usually gets this right as well. And with the model setting, it determines how much noise to suppress or how much blur to remove, okay? And Sharpen AI has determined that I have a motion blur problem and that my image is very blurry. It is rather blurry, and it does have a motion blur problem, because remember, I shot this at a shutter speed of 1 30th of a second on an iPhone handheld, and I guarantee you, I do not have the steadiest of hands. So I'm not surprised Sharpen AI says I have motion blur, very blurry. I totally agree with it. Right now, I'm zoomed into 100%, but let's go ahead and zoom in closer. Let's go into 200%. Give it a second to re-update itself here. Now I'm using this uh, viewing mode split view. This is the one that I really enjoy using because I can take this little slider and swipe it across. See that blur? I hope you can really see that. There's tons of blur in here. Now watch as I move this across. Look how it just magically becomes sharp. And that, to me, blows my mind. Now, we can move this window around. And I highly recommend that you thoroughly examine your image. Make sure there's no weird artifacts. Because sometimes you can get weird artifacts. And a lot of times, that's not Sharpen AI's 
total fault. It's because the model is wrong. And sometimes you'll find if you use the right model, you won't get artifacts. So check that out. And I always do that and I highly recommend it. But check that out. Look, there is the before and there's the after. That's mind blowing. So to me, this is why I'm calling Topaz Sharpen AI iPhone's new best friend. I'm going to use this, I believe, on each and every one of my iPhone images. Now, I like macro photography. I like to get in close. And this is where you have these problems because you got low shutter speeds a lot of the times. You're losing light and you're getting soft images, but Sharpen AI can take care of that for you. And as I said, I usually start out with the auto modes here, and if that doesn't seem to get it for me, or if I'm having some issues with artifacts or whatever, then I'll try some of these different models. Now, you could try different models by clicking change here, and all the different models come up here, and you have a lot to pick from for different scenarios. Is your image too soft? Is it out of focus? Does it have mo motion blur? Or does it take a standard adjustment? but I'm going to leave mine where it is. And then you also have different views, like you have a comparison view where you can view four different models up against each other. I'm not going to get into all that today because in my case, Sharpen AI has picked the right model for me. So I'm going to stick with that. Just to recap, when I bring my image into Sharpen AI, I make sure I have Sharpen model turned on this toggle and model parameters turned on. And then I check the image. If it looks good, I'm happy. Uh, I look for artifacts, I move around the image, I zoom in close, and then if I need more sharpening, I can take this remove blur and move it up a little bit or suppress noise. If it's not getting rid of enough noise, I can move it. But, you know, more often than not, it is 100% right. But then if I'm not satisfied with what Sharpen AI has chose for me, then I'll go ahead here and click on change and I'll go into the comparison view mode and compare different models and try to find the right one. But in my case, Sharpen AI has got it right, so I don't need to go any further. And I would say about eight out of 10 times, it does get it right. Oh, and by the way, there's excellent masking inside of Sharpen AI as well as Topaz Denoise AI. I'll link a video at the end of this showing you how the masking works. By the way, this is generally a fast and easy process now all I need to do is click apply, which I'll do now. And in real time, you'll see how quick this will process this out and send it back into Lightroom. And here we are back in Lightroom. Now let's do some pixel peeping. Let me click on the original raw file. Let me zoom in here so you can really see. Now I'm zoomed into uh, 200%. So as you can see, it is very blurry, right? Or very soft. I mean, it's not horrible. If you're viewing it from a further distance back, it wouldn't look too bad. But when you get up close to it, you'll see it's very soft. Now check out the result after Sharpen AI. Check that out. Now let's just look around. Everywhere we got sharpness. Now let's compare it to the original DNG. Look at that softness. There's before and there is after. So... It is quite remarkable, I got to say. I'm going to use this on every one of my iPhone images. If you've never tried Topaz Sharpen AI, you can click on my affiliate link in the description below where you can save if you use my promo code David Kelly. But also, you can download a free trial and see if this is right for you. And don't forget, it is on sale at the making of this video right now. And I believe the sale ends on March 18th in 2022. So it's on sale for $59.99. Plus, you'll get that additional 15% off with my promo code, David Kelly. Now, I have two more examples for you. I have this uh, raw file. I'll zoom out so you can really see it. I really like the image, but I thought it's really soft. And after I zoomed in, that confirmed it for me. Yes, it's soft. But after Topaz Sharpen AI, it now <laughs> looks like this. Can you believe it? It's like insane how good it is. So, I mean, it's great. So again, the before and the after. Now, is it good just for like images that were shot at a slower shutter speed? Again, this was 1 30th of a second. I shot it right after I shot the first image that I processed for you. And now here's an image that was shot just on the iPhone camera using the regular camera app. Okay, it's this one right here. And it's, uh, let me zoom into it. It was relatively sharp, but you may ask the question, well, what's it like on regular images? Can it make those pop a little more, give them a little more sparkle? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because here's the before and here is the after. But look at that extra detail it brings. 
out. And if there's any noise in the image, it gets rid of the noise. So I highly recommend that you use it on every smartphone image. It does a fantastic job, as you can plainly see. So whether you have focus issues due to camera shake or just for general sharpening on your iPhone images or any smartphone image for that matter. If you have a focus type issue, it's going to solve most of your problems. Well, there it is, everyone. Topaz Sharpen AI, iPhone's new best friend. Hey, give it a try and don't forget, download a free trial and see if it works for you. And if it and if it does and you want to get it, it's on sale up to March 18th, 2022. And use my promo code, David Kelly, all one word, and you'll save another 15%. I make a small commission. It helps me with my YouTube channel. And I thank you for that. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Gully. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.